Hey, morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. So I decided to relax with a pup this morning and wanted to do some land navigation to test out some gear I'm working with. And my Garmin Instinct was down to, I think it was 7%. And uh, wanted to use it to pull some coordinates and uh, figured it might be a good opportunity to test a panel that I bought from Pale Blue. It's their 7 watt Approach 1. And uh, this company did contact me back in, I think, October of last year. And uh, they sent me no strings attached to the Approach 2, which is the larger 21-watt panel. I've been using that one for a while now. Ended up loaning it to uh, a friend, let him keep it. I bought one for my moderator on YouTube. But uh, wanted to see what the 7-watt panel was about. So I bought it a few weeks back, and I really wanted something that was smaller and lightweight. Let's go check it out. So at first glance, I wasn't too keen on these uh, bungees, but they turned out to be pretty nice. It comes with four of these. And uh, with the Osprey Talon 22 liter pack, I only had to use two. And there are some great attachment points for loops on uh, this pack here. And I was able to trek out the whole way with this on the back here. So we'll see uh, what we're working with. Again, the baseline we started with less than an hour ago was 7%. All right, so with the uh, clips removed, we'll flip this guy over, and it offers two 5-volt USB-A charging ports, and uh, really happy. At first, again, I also was not a fan of this neoprene pocket, but I've been using it now to hold the thing that I'm charging inside. So let's go ahead and pull up this watch out for the first time. And this isn't a full review. Uh, this channel is more about experiences and just sharing gear that I like. So let's see where we are at. Oh, we've got our UTM position there. Very nice. So we are at 20 days uh, up from 7. It's 8.35 now. I think I left at 8.50 something. So in probably about 40 to 45 minutes, we have a very usable GPS unit here. Uh, the other thing I do like about this panel is that it is somewhat rigid. And I've been using the, the larger one that's a trifold and haven't had any issues. You'll also notice here that it does charge at various speeds, uh, slow and fast. Right now it's blinking. I don't have anything drawing a charge here. But uh, yeah, really happy with the pale blue. Uh, I wouldn't call this a sponsored video because when they reached out to me last year, uh, there, it was their CEO or CTO said, hey, I saw you do a review of pale blue rechargeable batteries many years back. And I told him I don't have time for videos. I don't do reviews anymore. Uh, I just want to buy gear on my own. And uh, they decided to send it to me anyhow without any expectation of uh, doing a video. And I really just enjoy showing you guys gear that I use and I believe in. Uh, I purchased two of the three units. In fact, before I drop this video, I'm going to get one more of the Approach 1 for my everyday carry backpack and just stick that in the Haley Strategic flat pack. I rely heavily on my Garmin Instinct watch to pull UTM coordinates and it's really nice for plotting my position on the map uh, at a click of the button. The watch has great battery life. In fact, I did a video uh, just a few minutes ago where I talked a little bit about the pale blue 7 watt panel that I used to top this off while it was mounted to the back of my backpack. Now the challenge is if that goes out, what do I do? Uh, you could still do terrain association, but uh, I wanted to try to do it without the GPS, and for that we do something called triangulation. I took three different bearings with my map and compass, and uh, here's a shot of my chest rig. It's actually kind of nice to have a drop pouch for things like the uh, pens I use for marking the maps, my Sunto MC2 compass, and then the new setup I have for the clipboard. So I took three different bearings and uh, went ahead and plotted them on the map, and the goal now is to see where that triangle is how well I can actually uh, estimate my position. Uh, I'll pull UTM coordinates off the GPS, plot them with the grid square, and see how close I got. You can see with that triangle, we're talking about a few hundred meters square, so not too bad. Uh, in fact, if we go out this way where it says prospect there, that's the peak directly in front of me, and I have that one at a bearing of three, four, four degrees north. And then if I rotate to my west, at a bearing of uh, 264, that was the last bearing I took. We've got, uh, it's out in the distance here. It's this line right there, you can't see it. Uh, but then the second bearing I took was at 344 degrees. And it was this structure over there, Ruin Ridge. And again, you can also see that 
on the map there. So I have my position here in UTM. We're in zone 12. We're in the northern hemisphere. Uh, the S is used if you're using MGRS, which is a subset of UTM. But my easting is 403614, and my northing is 3752621. By the way, guys, I love this Garmin Instinct. I've been running this now for... Uh, more than four years. I bought this in 2021. It's the original model. Uh, Amazon Prime Day has them at like 60% off. Uh, I did purchase one two years ago as a backup, and this thing has not died, so I gave my backup to a uh, relative. But anyways, I went ahead and put it down on the map here. And as I mentioned in an earlier video, I have settled on the Statler Lumicolor, Lumicolor Permanent with a document protector and uh, using the uh, eraser pen, which is just alcohol. I also have alcohol swabs in my chest rig. And I uh, did make a mistake and was easily enough to be able to take that off there. But uh, now what I'm going to do is take these coordinates and we're going to go ahead and plot them here with the grid square. All right, folks. Well, we're right smack where the uh, data suggests with the triangle. You can see that dot right above where it says four-wheel drive trail. And we're right there. So not bad for uh, triangulating the position. And I've done a video in the past where I talk about the UTM grid square. But uh, long story short, we're dealing with one kilometer square grid. So really easy to estimate distance. And that's where we have these blue lines going for our easting from east to west. And then going up our northing north to south. So down here we have our, our eastings at 403. So we start on the left-hand edge there where it says 403. And then the last three numbers are going to be in meters, so 614 meters. So what we want to do is start with that square. And then for our northing, we need to find 375. So we go up to 3752, uh, right? 3752. And then we have 620 uh, meters to go. So in this square right there, we're essentially going over to the east 600 meters, up 600 meters and that is where something like the grid tool lets you uh, use this little line right here for the 1 in 24,000 scale to easily map your position. So I mentioned that we are about 600 meters east and 600 meters north so you can see here I line up the uh, grid square and then I slide it over to the left where we've got the 6 right here so that's 600 meters for the easting and then we come up and in that slot right next to 600 we drop our spot there. So really easy and guys, I am a civilian, uh, not formally trained for land navigation, but I'm looking for lots of off-grid techniques, whether it be radio or mapping compass skills and trying to do less and less in terms of tech, but with more skills. So this video was just to show you guys, yeah, I do use my Garmin InReach or Instinct for uh, pulling UTM coordinates, but if it died, I had a plan. I had my solar panels. If that died, the triangulation got me in pretty tight and I would be able to figure out exactly where I am or potentially where someone else might be uh, if I had to move to, to their location out in the field. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. And uh, yeah, keep on training.